Hello everyone, this is Michael. It is February 27, 2016. I am in Arlington National Cemetery to commemorate the fifth anniversary of the passing of Frank Woodruff Buckles, America's last surviving veteran of World War I. This is his final resting place. Some of you may know that I met Frank Buckles back in 2009, and I attended his viewing and funeral in 2011. Right now, we're going to take a closer look at his tombstone. It is very bright out, so I'm going to use my shadow. It will help all of us read what is etched in the stone. Frank W. Buckles, Corporal, U.S. Army, World War I, February 1, 1901, February 27, 2011. I won this portrait that was signed by Frank Buckles in late 2008. It was auctioned off as a fundraiser for a World War I education project was auctioned off by the man who took the portrait. His name is down there, David J. DeYoung. I was on the telephone with him and he asked if I would like to schedule an appointment to meet Frank Buckles. Of course, I said yes. So this portrait here is what started it all. And you can see his signature at the bottom. And this photograph right here, taken on January 25, 2009, in the home of Frank Buckles, the 18th century farmhouse. I brought this very photo with me for his funeral at this location, Arlington National Cemetery, in March of 2011. Behind this tree is the grave of General John Blackjack Pershing. When I met Frank Buckles, he told me the story about the day the two of them met. Frank Buckles shook hands with John Pershing, and decades later I shook hands with Frank Buckles. Very incredible. Here is the tombstone by itself. On the other side, Audrey M., his wife, November 24, 1920, June 7, 1999. I thank all of you for watching this video and commemorating the fifth anniversary of the passing of Frank Woodruff Buckles. It was a very extraordinary experience meeting him, and I give him a very hearty salute right now. Thank you to Frank W. Buckles, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.